Pac-Man deal? They're, they're what? Giving... what the heck? <clears throat> but I don't even know if my computer can take one because they're it huge. Physically, apparently. yeah, might not fit. Yeah. Or you might need to up your power supply. Yes. Well, I think my I think I might have a thousand watt power supply. I'm not sure though. I need to check. But uh, I got a 2080 Ti right now, which is me too. Same. Me too. It's old. But like you know, is it? I wouldn't mind a, a little upgrade, a little tiny one. Dude, I play everything on like, I don't, I don't know if you need a forty ninety Ti to play Sporkle and, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, Marvel Snap, Marvel Snap, Mobile uh, game, Steam Edition, <laughs> Dome um, Keeper, uh, Super yeah. Auto Pets, yeah, Puzz Grid, Minecraft, My, well, well, actually, Minecraft with RTX on, maybe you know, like if you have like all the shaders. Oh Minecraft. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking about getting like an integrated video card, right? Like back in the laptop days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a like an onboard one, like a Monster 3D. Why can't they just make? Um, okay, this might sound stupid. Why can't they just make like a computer? Why does it have to be composed of like uh, eight single components? Can't they just sell you like a computer block that's like one big chip? Yeah, it's just it's just one big chip. <laughs> This one big uh, one, one big chip block. challenge. Like your um, phone, your phone has like a there's a processor in it, and there's some RAM, and there's a hard drive. Yeah, but they got they got different chips and gizmos on phones too. They've got like the little AI thingies and the the physics pro ten lenses yeah. and yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's actually kind of amazing how much they oh, fit into good. such a small package. That's crazy. <clears throat> What do you do on this one again? Oh, you just kind of like walk straight. Man, it'd okay, be a lot easier if there weren't any like, uh, you know, fans. And and balls as well. You're, I mean, you're telling me. Who designed this? It's, it's balls everywhere. Frank Lloyd Wright. It's crazy that Frank Lloyd Wright is famous, but he's not one of the Wright brothers. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Is yeah. That the, <laughs> is that is that those are the guys that made the Mona Lisa fly, right? Yeah. I think it's the, the Wright brothers. They made the first plane. It's uh, Frank Lloyd Wright and Andrew Lloyd Webber. Andrew Lloyd <laughs> Wright. Yeah, Webber. Yeah. Magical Mr. Mr. Mistopheles. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber. I haven't thought about that. Andrew guy. Lloyd Webber. Andrew Lloyd Webber had a TV show over here one year. Because he was so sick of uh, of Britain losing the Eurovision Song Contest, so he's like, "Well, I've written a couple of ditties in my time. <laughs> I'm gonna write a real banger, and we're gonna win this thing." Oh, and they lost no. again. Oh. There's like a whole like season of a show devoted to like finding the perfect singer for this new song that he'd made and everything, and they still lost. Was it about so, um, a, a country who half of their face was? Uh disfigured in a terrible stage lighting accident and then they live under this the stage waiting for the to haunt yes. the next uh i've never seen phantom of the opera <laughs> touching <laughs> waiting it's something like that right pain. yeah something like the that. guy's it's wearing like a mask uh, it's kind of like beauty and the beast no. for theater kids I thought Phantom of the Opera was the, the guy that gets the from A History of Violence when Avigo Morgan, the Aragon smashes the pot of coffee across his face. I thought that was the Phantom guy after. I'm being but. told to watch a Weird Al movie. Apparently, it's like a the story of Weird Al, but it's not. It's like I think uh, there's like the guy that plays Frodo plays Weird Al or something in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah Daniel Radcliffe. It's really good. It's the yeah. last. The last like ninety seconds of this Discord call are making me lose my mind. Was it Viggo Morkenstorn? <laughs> the guy who played Frodo. It's, it's the guy who played Harry Potter. It's Daniel Radcliffe. Whatever. Fucking nuts. Uh, that, that, that guy with the glasses, or well, maybe he doesn't have glasses. The nostalgia <laughs> critics in the movie. Shit. Apparently oh. it's good though, the Weird Al movie, but yeah. I don't know anything about it. People keep telling me to watch it. I heard it was good. Yeah, I heard it was good too. It's on the Roku channel, so you know it's gotta be good. What what uh, what does that translate to in uh in in uh, Europe? Oh, like, where channel, would I watch Channel 8? BBC seven, BBC Heaven. Great uh, dude goaded uh, Austin Powers reference. 
Yeah. BBC one. I can't even do the whole thing. It takes so long to get through it. <clears throat> anyway, the Roku, uh, the Roku channel is what is what I need to seek out. Yeah, it's the same place that you get. Um, hey, chat. What's that show where uh, old British people fix up castles and then find out that it's really expensive to fix up castles? Oh, I don't Game know about Thrones. that. There's a there's a show. <laughs> there's a British show called The Repair Shop, and they they. They like restore old antiques and stuff. Okay, apparently King Charles is gonna go on it. He's gonna he's be in the Weird Al movie on the Roku no, channel. No, no, he's gonna go. He's gonna go on this like uh, antiques repair show called uh, Repair Shop. With the crown and, jewels. Uh, no, no. Well, we, with some artifact or whatever. But the joke is that he's he's gonna take uh, Prince Andrew's uh, reputation to the to the repair oh, shop. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know Prince Andrew can't sweat? He can't. He can't. No, sweat. it's because of That's his what he uh, says. military. Yeah. He, he yeah. did some military service in the during the Falklands War, and he, uh, the 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 PTSD he got from it made it so that he can't sweat. So anytime he went out night clubbing after uh, that. No sweating. So it's, that's it's impossible that for he's him innocent. to yeah. leave DNA evidence. Yeah. No, but King Charles has large. Fingers, yeah. I don't know what what is, where did that come Some from? bad, bad circulation. <laughs> There's some pictures, and he's just got these massive sausage fingers. They look like I think he's he's got some circulation issues, or maybe some heart oh, issues okay. or something. But like, yeah, dude, being the king would be fucking sick, dude. Yeah, right. Just be like, <clears throat> just be chilling. Like I play, I play Overwatch all day, and I get mad at like you know bad DPS or bad support or bad tanks or whatever. All he's got to get mad at is like a fountain pen. That's it. I know. Yeah, I saw that. He's like, get that. Out Fire of King. Gets I would angry actually. At a pen. I would That's stream it. like from the throne room. Wouldn't that be pog? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I would ever invite the commoners to speak to me if I was the king, including through ban Twitch. Ban them. Just ban them. Oh, that's a lot of work. I, I would maybe well, can't they just set him up with like a DX racer and tell him that the stream is on, but then not actually broadcast? <laughs> it's like in the office when uh, oh Creed thoughts. The, yeah. Ryan, yeah, just gives him a word doc and that doesn't. <laughs> it's actually on the internet. It's so good. Oh, and he's now, in his seventies. I'm now picking up. The, I know the he's diamonds. in his seventies, but like he's still. I think he's still got like a a dicky ticker. You know, like it's got to be right. He's got to have some, uh, some, some, something's wrong with his circulation or something for his. I mean, these are not just big fingers. These are. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hey, he almost looks like a leper or something. They're like, they're, <laughs> they're bad. Hey, those are really strong guys in Darkest Dungeon, though. What, lepers? Yeah. Some of the strongest, for sure. Yeah, but strong enough to be the king of uh, the United Kingdom? Mm, yeah, it just seems like it, not that physical of a job, honestly. Well, it's about as maybe it's as physical as you want it to be, you know. I suppose there's degrees. Oh, nice. Oh, we're we're we got this. We have problem. a good we have a good random. We do have a good random. He's taking matters into his own hands. I think you guys got it. I'm not gonna mess with this one at all. I he knows what's I up. I thought that was it. Complete the complete the pattern. Oh, there you go. Wow. Well done. <coughs> that's, that's real Joe. What? It's uh, my my stream sniper. Oh! Is that Thanks. him? Yeah, yeah. Thanks he beats you. me in Fall Guys all the time. You're lucky this isn't Rumbleverse, so we might as well just exit out right now. But in, <laughs> in Fall Guys... Wait, he follows you into Rumbleverse games and owns you? No, he, he used to follow me into Rumbleverse games, and then like I would just be minding my own business, and I'd get sucker punched, and then I would uh, realize it was <laughs> Joe, and I would just beat his ass. Just <laughs> <laughs> he did kill me. He did kill me one time. I remember that. I remember that one. That was, and then I quit Just the, the one like time. The next day, I was like, I don't want to play this game anymore. Oh, <laughs> uh, this one's so hard, isn't it? <clears throat> Hopefully, no, our guy we'll puts good. his hacks on and figures it out straight we'll away. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna hang back I this time and out. wait. And then, so when you get to the actual thing, would you have to like jump on those blue things to get up there? Yeah, it's like a they rotate around like a like a grandfather clock, and you gotta. What if you touch the bit in the middle? Do you die or you just bounce fall off? Down? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
I'm going far left. Oh, I'm not going far left. I'm going third. I'm not going third. Fuck you. No. I'm okay, it's second, keep... second from the right. Second from the right, four up. Keep going, guys. I'm, I'm throwing all this junk on the thing so you can see where to go. Look. It's a shoe. Yeah. It's another shoe coming your way. I'm going, I'm going left. Oh, th th the shoes have revealed the path to us. Yes, I know. That's why I keep, look, there's a star coming now. Ah. Follow the, follow the no. star. There you oh, go. Oh, what shit. The fuck, dude? To the right, I think. Direct hit. <laughs> there's a nut. No. No. I have also a Saturn. Oh, shit. Oh, you got to I see that it, it rotates around. So you got to if you want it to hit the right oh, spots, geez. you got to wait for it to be in the right area. I'm going second from the right. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's oh! going. Okay, okay. So you got it? Wait. There's only so much I can reveal now. Okay, we're at the Oh, dude, get oh. Up, go up the staircase. Go up the staircase. Trying Victory. Did you get Victory. it? Victory. Winner. Wait, yeah, yeah, nice. Go! nice. It was Joe. What do you know? He did it. Hey, good job. Good job. Nice. Good job, Joe. Good job. That's right behind him. You know, no big deal. That was close, yeah. Oh, it's just our third win. Thank you, Joe. Oh, Thank man. You. Man, remember some of those big Fortnite wins we got against oh, the bots? Oh, dude, 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 they were not against the bots. I do some remember of them were. Uh, being the Mandalorian. And we blew the, the walls <laughs> off of a house. And then, like, it's like the spirit of a 13-year-old kid took <laughs> over my stories body. Stories are going to tell my grandkids. <laughs> I remember I, I had, like, the jetpack. And I we did, like, a jetpack strafe with the shotgun. And, like, every single shot landed. And we wiped them. I Dude, that is, like, incredible in my mind. I just looked at chat and somebody said, bro, these wins, bro. <laughs> but, like, all in caps, bro. <laughs> These wins and then like, again caps bro like, like a jealousy like pillars, kind of yeah, bro yeah, or They're like, like bro a... pillars no no like uh, he seems ecstatic about all the wins oh it's oh, good I like to see that I like when I look in chat I like to see the positivity you know of course I don't want a bunch of uh, frick the haters <laughs> naysayers in my chat I want yeah. to see pos positive people I yeah. want people with low expectations for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't want you nice ever bro. you ever have it yeah. you like win a game and people are like yeah but you only won because the other person threw that's uh, like yeah, I, I that. you gotta get out of here man that is really not not great is it when people are like that I like when people are like you carried the whole game mm -hmm. you know and you're like you know what I feel like I did actually I feel like I re I turned up I broke out the razzle dazzle and uh, we 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 won the whole game and it was all because of me. And when people recognize that, that's the best feeling, isn't it? It's Dude. like, yeah. One of my favorite things with like when it comes to like sports or competitions is like that, that certain X factor, the the clutch factor. You know how some athletes are just like really good, but when it, when it comes down to it and matters, there's some, some that just they can do it. You know, the the Joe Carters. Do you think oh, that yeah. Tom Carter. Brady which wishes he had uh, more the of Mookie a, Wilsons uh, of the world clutch factor <laughs> in his yeah. marriage? He's not. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is he divorced? I think his I'm, wife uh, filed for divorce. Oh. I'm struggling here big time. Jesus. But she might just be, you know, it might just be like a hollow threat. Uh, P.S. I, this fan has bested me. Like, I cannot. Just go to the side. He's 2-0 since I... she filed for divorce? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know what? Never mind. Oh, that means they beat the Seahawks. No! Oh, no. That's my team. <laughs> Seattle pilled. If I get through the middle, if I can make it through the middle here, I think we got a chance. I mean, we got a chance, it. period. I made it. I Wait, I live and breathe Seattle football. I would say I'm the I'm the 13th man. Is that what the 12th man? 13th warrior? Um, no, you're the 13th egg. <laughs> Thank you, cousin. <laughs> 12th man. Yeah, I'm the 12th man. Who dad say gonna beat them s s birds? Wait, isn't that like a firefighter thing? 13th warrior? It's an Antonio Banderas but movie. 
Yeah, 13th, it, in that movie, man in or Antonio something? Banderas slowly learns the English language just by being around people that speak English a lot. This is what and uh, everybody remembers from the 13th. The Warrior. movie does it very cleverly, right? Because at first it just sounds like moon language and he can't understand a word. But then slowly they're speaking moon language. But then you'll hear like a tabernacle thrown in or something <laughs> like that. And all of a sudden he's like, oh, oui, je comprends, je comprends, oh, oui. Je voudrais un cochon oh. plus grand avec jambon et beurre, s'il vous plaît. Tabernacle, mm. si, colis. Où est le piscine? Où est le piscine? Où est la bibliothèque? Aujourd'hui. Uh, mm, je voudrais le Jack's Flap. Uh, sans pamplemousse, sans pamplemousse, <laughs> s'il vous plaît. Pamplemousse yeah. est très, né très bien, ça va mal. That's all I remember from that movie was that that gimmicky bit about the him learning the language. I don't remember any of the rest of the movie at all. I rented that one for free when I worked at Blockbuster. Dude, oh, you it, didn't good work at Jumbo Video, you freaking traitor. Yeah. Oh. Dude, I watched the Thirteenth Warrior. We borrowed the DVD from my uncle, um, and yeah, okay. We, I don't know why it sounds. I, we didn't pirate it. I don't know. That sounds like what you would say if you pirated it. My uncle, it sound um, like you pirated my it. yeah, my uncle uh, Pirate Bay. My oh, good old uncle Kazaa <laughs> had all the best movies. Uh, then we popped. The, we only had a DVD player in my computer as a kid like until maybe age 15. So whenever me and my parents watch DVDs, we would all pile into my bedroom, pop that shit in the DVD drive, and then watch it on like <laughs> my 16 inch CRT monitor across the room. Nice. I like shit that. Shit is like, it is antiquated now. It was very cozy, yeah. I'm watching Scary Movie 2 with my parents in my room. Oh man. <laughs> My dad laughing his ass off. Funniest movie he's ever seen in his life. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that movie, White Girls? Uh, yeah, yeah White I Chicks. watched it recently. White because Chicks, sorry. Ryan yeah. wouldn't shut up about it, and then somebody else told me to watch it, and I was like, it's okay. It's kind of a classic. In some it's ways. actually pretty funny. <laughs> you guys look different. Uh, oh, we had our knees done. <laughs> <laughs> You're taller. We had our knees done. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's like bad funny, but it's, it's, it is yeah. really. Bad. I en I enjoyed watching it. Um, yeah, yeah. There's hey, Terry is that, is that Hatsune Miku or whatever the with the green hair? Um, <laughs> yes. Green green ponytails. Yeah, green well, pigtails. pigtails. Yeah. And like a schoolgirl uh, uniform, a school uniform. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can ask me anything because I have the title. Typical. I have the title in this game. Um, right. Of, uh, I think Miku's number one fan. Had seen, I'll tell had you what, I'm not Miku a number one fan of. It's chip. Pixel Painters. Dude, I love this game. Every time. But we win it, Sips. We're going. I know we, I know we win it, but. Wish there was more obstacle courses, like uh, <laughs> some slime, slime climbs climb, and yeah. fans and, and shit like that, you know? They could add slime to this. Was it three and then? Look at that, dude! It, right, this nice. is a great uh, game to learn uh, restraint. Mad Padla, Mad Padla. See, like you don't always have to be yeah. going twenty-four-seven. Like sometimes less is more in this one. Oh yes. You guys got it there. Look at look at this. Oh my. <laughs> Oh yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty Is nice. That, yeah, there. Look at this, do it, dude. We're cracked. Do it slowly. Do it. We're blazing. Do some more. Do some more. Do some more. Nice. Pamplemousse. Pamplemousse. Okay, okay, now that nice. is crazy. That, that is really, crazy. That was fast as hell. Yeah. Some of these dirty, people are still dirty. on like number one. Some of them are just giving up, man. I mean, look at this. Are you guys watching uh, Blank Blankaville '82? <laughs> With, he's got oh, a no, red helmet I'm on. I'm watching Smokey. Oh yeah, I'm watching Smokey watching Doobie Blank 420. How's he doing? He just qualified. He was an alien. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's just like running across to like screw their stuff up. 
this blank blank avail. Oh, Joe's in this one. You got to be careful. Oh, Joe. is he actually in it? He is. Yeah, he's on Joe. another team. Dirt. Crap. Joe. Dirt. You remember when Christopher Walken was in Joe Dirt? <laughs> Man, they had a lot of star-studded cast in that one. They had uh, Kid Rock, um, <laughs> David Spade, Christopher Walken, the, Dennis uh, Miller. I don't yeah. want to go off on a rant here, but does anybody else think that Dennis Miller and Joe Dirt is kind of like uh, the redneck version of Frasier? Mm. I don't even think I've seen Joe Dirt. I know oh, what it is. Oh, Sips, you, you got it. It's classic. It. You got to see Joe Dirt. Yeah, it's good. It's got... Brandy, I don't know what the actress's real name Brandy. is. Brandy, her name, I knew her name at one point. Isn't she's Brandy also she's like, in uh, White Chicks? She's she's the older yeah. sister in White Chicks. She's in um, uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. At some point, anyways. Brandy, her the, I, the character's name is Brandy. I don't remember oh, the actress's right. name. <laughs> Brittany Daniel, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That Jamie sounds... Presley's in it too. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Kid Rock yeah. is in Joe. Kid Joe, Rock yeah. is in Joe Dirt. Yeah, he says. Uh, maybe... You want some French fries to go with your Whamburger? <laughs> he does say that. Hey, Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. <laughs> it's probably oh. Kid Rock's best um, acting role. Maybe his most positive what contribution. What other acting to... roles was was he? Did he have though? Well, he's been acting like a anything. rapper for like almost twenty five <laughs> years now. <laughs> True, yeah. He, I, he He's was, an American uh, badass. <laughs> what was that song that was it? Kid Rock that did the uh, that did the Sweet Home Alabama yes. remix. It, I, God, calling I it a remix it. is I a hate, little. Uh, I hate that. You one. could it, that, that in two thousand and seven, that song was played every four minutes on radio. Man, yeah. uh, it's it, that like I I I wouldn't really describe much as as cringe you know like it's not really like a, a word i, I use it's cringe very bro. often but for me that that kid rock song is is the epitome of cringe like, i, I nah, cannot he, sh he should cover I like wonderwall or like what's that one? <laughs> west west virginia i don't mind yeah. i wouldn't mind if he covered uh, he should just cover all these honestly, songs like... that people sing at like parties and stuff yeah you know? yeah <laughs> this is the one where he rhymes things with things right <laughs> that we, would... we were smoking different things yeah. and we were watching different things. It's something like that. Singing Sweet Home Alabama all summer long. I do remember they were drinking whiskey out the bottle and not thinking about tomorrow. Oh, God. How, does any, did anybody buy that single or anything in chat? Hello? Did you guys, did you guys buy that? <laughs> just self-ban, please. Yeah, just... Yeah. Just do a Sudoku and um, ban oh yourself, <laughs> because uh, there's there's no there's no words for. How do you do that? A hundred percent no. Okay, good. I'm glad to <laughs> glad to hear that. My parents owned the Kid Rock album with uh, only God knows why on it. Really? What? Yeah, yeah. I, it's, I think it's why? called. I think it's called Devil Without a Cause. It's really funny because like the. Did they just get it for like a barbecue party or something? No, it's only like, God oh, knows just... why. Is like it's kind of <clears throat> soulful, right? Like it's like it's not. If you if you if you're scared of rock music, you mostly listen to like <clears throat> Alice and Krauss. Then uh, then that is like your song by Kid Rock. But then the rest of the album is like My name is Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Pull my jean shorts down, fuck you down on the couch. I'll make you lick my dick and smoke my nuts in your mouth. And that's <laughs> did you guys ever own any Limp Biscuit albums? Uh, no, my brother did though. I borrowed some from from my uncle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. Did he get them off Napster? Like <laughs> LimeWire. Hey, how'd you know my uncle's name? <laughs> Uncle Napster. Uncle, Uncle, Napster. Uncle Kazaa. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. What's the first what's the first uh, <laughs> what's the first song you ever downloaded off Napster if you use Napster? I did it remember? by the Dave Matthews band. Come on, really? I'm, yes. I heard it on I remember MTV and I was like, I gotta I gotta put this shit on my hard drive. It's not even a good Dave Matthews band song if such a thing exists. <laughs> I oh. did it. Well, it's not Dave Matthews. Who's that other one uh, that sings uh, Where'd All the Good People Go? You know that one? Where'd all the good people go? Do, 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 
Dude, what's it, Jack something? Does anybody I don't know remember that one. This guy? That's, apparently Jack that's Jack Johnson? Johnson. I only know banana pancakes though. Jack Johnson. <laughs> How does anybody listen to that? That's like dentist music, right? Absolutely. That Jack Johnson. Make you're you're laying there pitch. under like anesthetic and they're about to pull your teeth out and that's what's playing on the radio in the, in the dentist office. Oh, if you're not scared <laughs> of the harder stuff, I'll turn on the Jason Mraz. Where'd all the good people go? Do, 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 do. They used to play that on uh, radio a lot too, right? It was uh, the bear. The bear. Uh, yeah, 1027 the bear bringing the <laughs> hottest rock. Make banana pancakes. <laughs> the bear. The bears. Oh, frick. Um, oh, shit. We should start up our own, like, better Howard Stern show. Yeah, yeah. sure. Why not? You want to. Who, who wants to get on the Sibian first? You or me? I'll <laughs> gladly. <laughs> I want to be the role of the guy that uh, like cackle laughs and says yeah, like when uh, <laughs> when something happens, when you when you guys say something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm talking about. Guy. You gotta be the hype yeah, I'm guy. Gonna be yeah, the cackling yeah guy. You I could just be that. like poggers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's so good. Ooh. That's the hype man. Yeah, yeah Andy yeah. Richter was kind of like a hype man, but I don't remember him doing like lots of cackling. Yes, ha, ha, he's more ha, of a yes. droll sort of giggle. He was, yeah. <laughs> he was kind of like he'd just turn up, and Conan would be like, "Oh, hey, Andy, uh, you're fat." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am, Conan. <laughs> it's class. What is one of my favorite bits. <laughs> what is he? What does he do now? He's got his own show, right? Or didn't he have his own The Andy yeah, Richter show in or something? 2001. He was in the rest of development. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Sorry. He had his I own show the... for, for one season in 2001. I've lost track. <laughs> I've completely lost track of Andy Richter. I'm sorry. 20, almost 22 years. Uh, oh, man. Man. Oh, it's wild. Poor Andy. Wasn't it a sitcom, though? Yeah, yeah. I saw it on City TV way back in the day. I think it came on right after. You guys remember Nash what, what was that guy? What was that guy that he's from Toronto? Mike Bullard? Was it Mike yeah, Bullard? Yeah, dude. Late Have night we talked with about Mike, Bullard? Mike before? Yeah, I yeah. Think so. Man. He, he was like uh, the Canadian Jay Leno. The only thing I remember about him is one time he got his Lincoln uh, Navigator stolen. This <laughs> is <laughs> literally the oh, only Mike Bullard story God. I remember. <laughs> Wait, is that? Like, it's, the, it's the SUV. The SUV, okay. Yeah, those are big, Have I big watched boys. Jackass when it aired on MTV? I don't think I watched it when it aired on MTV because I was living over here when it was airing on MTV, so I didn't have access to it. But I I, I think I watched it. I don't know how I saw Jackass, actually. Maybe on the internet first and then... Maybe borrowed the DVD from your uncle, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I think I might have borrowed the DVD from Ryan's uncle, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think he downloaded it one time. Oh, I'm good at this one. I set the new world record for this. A lot of people don't know that about me, but it's it's definitely true. Holy shnikes, I'm going. I'm in. I've done it. I just had the perfect run. Are we in the same lobby? Because I'm like in like fifth. I don't see either of you fuckers. Because <laughs> cause I'm uh, in uh, sixth. <laughs> right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> on my perfect run. Uh, it slowed down a little bit, though. I fucked up a bit. I'm so fucked up. It's probably, like, I'm, I'm gonna be in second, but I think this is, like, a new world record, personally. Oh, no. That was a great run! Even though I fell a little bit, that was, that was a good one, man. Yeah. Okay, go to the side. Go side. Yeah, he knows. He knows. You're you're going up it, against Smoky it. Blunt's 420. Just so you know. Oof. Oh, he fell. He fell. You're you're clean. Oh, oh. shit! I tried to do the middle bit. I'm That's gonna try a it again. I'm, try, I'm trying. No, to no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah I'm trap. doing it. Middle's a trap. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he he got through. Okay. I'm that. in. Well, we're definitely cool. gonna qualify. Smoky Doobie 420, not sure though. <laughs> Random Qualified, Haddock gonna... 
four three nine is who I'm watching. He's got some problems, man. He's using a controller, and uh, he's going for. He's trying the middle. <clears throat> he's done oh, it. Oh no! Oh, no, no, he no, has no, not done no. it. No. If you're the, like the last one, you he should not it. try the middle. You got more fundamental problems. Do I remember Tom Green? Yeah, the Tom Green show was great. Yeah. But... <clears throat> he's in Charlie's started. Angels. Dude, I just remember, right, and yeah. I, I actually like the Tom Green stuff, but it's very mean-spirited, obviously. I remember when he went to Japan, he was just filming at, like, a temple, and in the background, you see, like, an old man fall down the whole temple staircase, and he, <laughs> he, just, he just turns around and goes, ha 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 and, like, points at him and just laughs for, like, 45 <laughs> seconds straight. It's so bad, but so good. Or he's at the conveyor belt sushi restaurant, and when the conveyor uh, comes around, he puts like a, a vibrator onto a plate and then <laughs> closes the, the drawer. And then. It's oh, comedy. That is good stuff, man. I mean, it's not, but it is. Red Green. Oh. I, I've seen Red Green before, but I've never, I never watched it. I didn't really get it. Oh, the Red Green Show? Yeah. It's a... Uh, well, if your <clears throat> woman can't find you handsome, she might as well find you handy. <laughs> yeah. So, it, that show felt highly Canadian, more mm -hmm. so than all the other ones. Very much so. It's That yeah. show's very wholesome. Nobody puts yeah. a, a dildo onto the sushi belt in that was one. Was it the... <laughs> in the, the Red Green. If anyone uh, green, did, it would be Steve, though. The guy sure. who plays Green, wasn't he on, like, like some, like, detective serial killer what type the show guy who something? plays green you know not the main red. guy the, the sidekick the guy's name that that's steve the guy's name is red green it's not uh, a, whatever it's not the like other one guy of the luigi of the one. show <laughs> <laughs> you got it you got it oh no this is mad padla has got it he's dunked one for harold harold not steve that's yeah. right Green. <laughs> I like we watched it when I was a kid, but I at the time didn't really like it. Oh, we used to watch that shit on the CBC nonstop. What about this hour has twenty two minutes? You remember that one? Oh yeah, it was uh, like the political um, kind of uh, newsy sort of one. I'm yeah, a, yeah, I'm yeah, a yeah. bit of a. I remember. A I remember my parents right. watching it all the time, but I never that one really go. watched oh, it. Good, good, good block. Good block. I, I mean, if it's a battle between 22 minutes and the Royal Canadian Air Farce, I'm, I'm all about the cerebral humor of uh, 22 minutes. Get that I chicken remember, yeah, out of here. Air Farce, I remember as well. They used to just well, take a picture of, they'd be like, Mike Harris. That guy saved it. I don't know how. I don't know either. He got it. It was it was in. Holy cow. Mike Vanderjad. Mike Vanderjad. No, no. Oh, God. We, got, we were putting this ball in, man. This is no sweat, dude. This guy did not receive the. We won, by the oh, way. Oh, we were winning. I, I don't know why we thought we were losing. We were winning we won, by we won a mile five there. to one. We did. That's our fourth win, by the way. Damn, it was only the 10, whole thing. 40. Yeah, we won the whole thing again. What the heck? Why are we so good? Just can't stop winning Fall Guys today for some reason. Insane. Ooh. The bum bum song was your jam, the Tom Green one. He had a couple, right? <laughs> My bum is on the rail. Bum is on the rail. Look at me. My bum is on the rail. Ooh. And uh, what was the other one? Uh, pet names for genitalia. You remember that one as well? <laughs> guy vaguely, maybe. Pet names for genitalia. Do -do 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 -do. It was uh, the the Billy we Joel didn't start song. Start the fire, yeah. The yeah, but sack. it was about. Brian uh, started the fire. <laughs> Let me just look this up real quick. Tom Green. Tom Green. Daddy, would you like some sausages? Freddy oh, yeah. Was classic. good. Oh, I, I thought we were still talking about the Red Green show. I was like, I don't remember the genitalia song. No, 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 no. We're talking about Tom Green. <laughs> oh, yeah. Daddy, would you like some sausages? Green eventually wrote a song called Lonely Swedish, open parentheses, the Bum Bum song. That's the one, yeah. <clears throat> it became My an instant on number Swedish, one hit on TRL. Swedish. Swedish. <laughs> Swedish. Yeah, I remember that one. That was a. Uh, I think I actually downloaded that on Napster. Not the first ever song I downloaded on Napster. The first song I ever downloaded on Napster was You Can't Touch This by MC Hammer. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know why. I mean, it's, a, it's a classic, I guess. But mm, hey, I don't remember what. 
Here's Thank here's God. a little Tom Green humor. Can you imagine this? In 1996, he was hired by the CBC to do reports from the Atlanta Summer Olympic Games. Whoa. I don't remember that. That's got. I bet those were some good. Uh, <laughs> Some good I, remember, I remember eating a, a Big Mac in 1996 at McDonald's and getting the uh, the like the hat. They were giving out the hat as the like Happy Meal thing. I remember watching Tom Green. I used to babysit my neighbor's kids, and after I put them to bed because they I can't remember they used to work late or they went out uh, every once in a while or something, and uh, I had I had to look after these two kids. And I'd have to put them to bed and give them dinner and stuff. I was like maybe 13 at the time or something. And uh, and then I would stay up and watch Tom Green, and and usually I would fall asleep like in front of Tom Green. But uh, it's I a remember, dangerous game you're playing yeah, there. I remember, I remember there was this segment where all he was doing was shouting at somebody who was wearing a green bag from a, a rooftop, and Classic. he was just saying like, "Green bags rule" over and over. And <laughs> at the time, Classic. I thought it was so funny, yeah. but when Cerebral. I think back on it. <laughs> I don't know why that was that at all funny, honestly. Like, uh, and the bag of milk in my pants bit with uh, <laughs> Glenn Hump. Like, you remember that? I got no, a bag of milk in all. my pants. But just the he description like, is. Uh, it was like a bag of. It was actually just a bag of milk in his pants, and then he, <laughs> he cut the bag open and start spraying milk all over uh, Glenn as well. Classic, that was it. A classic yeah. Tom Green yeah. style bit. Oh, yeah, I don't man. know what happened to Tom Green. I mean, those are those. That was so funny as well. Like, mm. I just can't. He was in Road Trip. I remember that. How did yeah, he call... a great movie. Was he actually in Road Trip? Yeah, yeah, he's the he's like the tour guide, and he's telling this this story, and then there's like, like he's like talking about like the naked shower scene, and then people are like, "Why are you talking about this?" And uh, he tells him to shut up. Oh, <laughs> he's still doing stuff. He owns a farm now. No, he does not. Tom I Green. I could believe that a hundred percent. Tom Green doesn't own a farm. He was married to Drew Barrymore for a while. He was I that. for one year. For a whole Is year. that after the Charlie's Angels thing? It was concurrent with the Charlie's Angels. Ah, dude, I ought to they do that. You see that happen whilst... with like actors quite a bit, actually. You know, like uh, John Snow and uh, the Wildling lady. Hey, maybe you could be in a movie with Brad Macaulay Bacon. Culkin and then marry him, Alf. Yeah, you're always yeah, talking like, about no, Macaulay No, because he said when he grew up, you guys are filming. He's living together. alone. Actually, is Macaulay Culkin is uh, married to Brenda Song. They just had their first kid a couple of years ago. Mm, congrats. Parasocial. Congrats. Okay, this one, the, this Pixel Painters round is dedicated to Macaulay. Oh, Macaulay, maybe... I'm with, this oh. one's for you, baby. I'll do Joe Hope Dirt 3 with right Brittany now. Daniels. <laughs> well, is, are you going to get David Spade? No, uh, Brittany Daniels. You're going to be Joe Dirt. I'll Dirt. be Joe Dirt. Okay. Eric Andre? I never watched the Eric Andre show. It's pretty eh. good. I like it. Yeah, I heard some. I've seen bits and pieces of it that I I thought were kind of funny. I, I mean, guess, if but... if you like bag milk in my pants, get ready for. Uh, have well, you seen I my I dog? mean, I I remember liking it when I was like, th you know, 12, 13 years old. Like what I is, don't know if hey, I would like uh, it much now. Excuse, excuse what is me, this world, random world's doing? world's uh, silliest man. What what are you world's doing here? World's silliest man. Who, who is the. I'm simply going to become the Joker. There's one okay, tile I, out there. Okay. I, I got it. I got Who is, it. Uh, this uh, random is the... He's a saboteur. BB Danma. DB Koopa. There, you there, yeah, it. Can nice. you just I'm hold... Matt, no. Sips, can you just hold our random? I'm holding him right now. <laughs> no, he's... Uh, he's oh, he's sprung. He's sprung. He's, he's out. He's I, out of the box. I don't... Careful. I'm trying to catch him. He's, he's slippery. Oh, no, he's... Okay, we're hugging What now. the hell? It's, it's oh, all right. good stuff. Okay, we, we can do this. We can as do this. As long as we okay. qualify. I, I'm keeping him busy. He's locked on. What is that? That's the uh, the Japanese symbol for... Uh, it's pi. Pi. <laughs> it's, it's the Japanese symbol for pi. What, um, okay. what happened to our... Uh, yeah. What Again, happened? he's... He's he knows. like actually. He got like, the he got the memo. Got this the memo. is like the anti anti Joe or whatever. <laughs> your friend's name Joe? Joe Joe Dirt. Yeah, we can do this. Joe nice. Joe Mama. No! Nope. The log off! You idiot! You can't even look at a shape and recreate it. You can't work with four strangers. You're not cut out for life in the 21st century. Yeah. I sh I forgot to report him. I should report him.
What, for sabotaging? Yes. He was probably like five years old. Get, oh, frick that. Get banned. You got to learn these lessons at some point in your life. Bro, like when I was, was a kid Macaulay and I wanted too. to do stuff with, with my brothers. That's, a, that's the lesson. Fuck around and you'll get banned. Yeah, man. Like if I wanted to do anything with my brothers, I had to be able to keep up. And if I couldn't, they'd tell me to frick off. <laughs> you guys see what Mr. Bean tweeted this weekend? Anybody yes. want their pussy eaten by Mr. Bean tonight? <laughs> <laughs> is that one of the hoax account things? It is. Uh, yeah. Twitter verification? That's oh. fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. I was thinking about it all weekend. Oh, <laughs> man. It's a very good tweet. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I me. just got this whole visual <laughs> in my head. And Mr. Mr. Bean. Bean. Pussy. Very Mr. Bean <laughs> has got to be fucking horrendous at eating pussy, man. He can't do anything. Dude. He's gonna, he's gonna come up. He's gonna have his whole head inside of it, just like the yeah, Christmas just episode. Yeah, like the turkey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the turkey. Yeah. You're doing it wrong, Mr. Bean. Wait, isn't there, isn't there like an episode where he like licks like a thousand stamps? <laughs> oh, you yeah. know what? Maybe, maybe he'd be yeah. good at it then. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, classic, dude. Classic. <laughs> Just imagine. I do the, love that taking the, the pants <laughs> off and. Like, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got blown up. Uh, oh. I love that Rowan Atkinson also has all those interviews where he talks about like, you know, the role of a comedian is to be like a modern day philosopher and like truth teller and stuff like that. And then his most famous, well, listen, I really like Black Adder, honestly, but his most famous work is like, man sucks at being a patient at the dentist's office. <laughs> man. <laughs> I tried to watch early Black Adder, like season one, episode one, and it's. Uh, I I remember liking later Black Adder, but the the first season especially seemed like. I don't know. I, a lot of shows are like that, though, right? The show's like finding its itself sort of yeah. thing. And it just starts off kind of slow, but. Yeah, it's a bit. A bit yeah, season season one is pretty bad. Yeah, couldn't couldn't really get through it. Really I've been watching a. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of or seen this show before, but over here it's kind of like a, a classic. It's called Father Ted. It's about these oh, priests, yes. uh, Irish priests, and uh, man, couldn't make it. It's very, in the modern it's very era. funny. It's very, very funny. It's from like '95, I think, but um, yeah, some of the jokes still are pretty good. There's some pretty funny, funny bits. There's like this. Uh, there's this couple that every time they see father ted they're like oh hello father you know like um are you going to the cake sale and stuff but anytime he's not around they're just like you fucking bitch you <laughs> you're a pile of shite and they're like they're just like like just absolutely going off on each other it's hilarious it's one of the longest running british shows of all time it has uh 22 what, seasons eight episodes? and eight episodes yes <laughs> 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 Maybe I'll watch it after. I'm almost done Sopranos. Really? You're almost what? done? So it's uh, only yeah. season Sopranos six seasons. Is, Sopranos is uh, easily bingeable as well. I didn't oh, even yeah. know you we started really quick. I told you, I told you guys to get going. Yeah, but you I never need... did though. You said I, I we're said all we gonna should watch, all it, watch together, it together, and then you yeah. just started watching it. And you didn't well, tell listen, anybody you'd started. I can't wait forever. Okay. You like that bit uh, in like the first season when uh, when Christopher is has to d re dig up that body and he's all like, "Look at the fucking fingernails." You yeah, know, like, the beard. Uh... He got, we didn't have a beard when we burned. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that like real though? Well, I don't know. Mal I, I I promise you, brother. I got it under control. I'm not in the. Oh, mob, I'm sorry. So I don't know. Yeah. What well, is? You got it. It's a circle. It's a circle of trust. Oh, it's, it's a circle one. of trust. It's the one. Uh, it's the. It's it's the preview one. This is the one that they they show you the example of, right? Yeah. Good job, uh, guys. Screen. Good job. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. 
Good stuff. Easy. Good stuff. Oh, man. I don't know why we don't just, like, we should go to HBO and get them to let us do a show. Yeah. Yeah. You got any open I, mic I think, with I think Mike we Bullard. can do a good job. I, think I still good. think um, that show I've been uh, pretending to pitch to Netflix for, like, five years, I think it could still go off. What Which, the, the, the Seinfeld like the, one? No, it's uh, it, the exact same premise as the Simple Life. Like the Simple Life featuring yeah. Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie doing uh, like oh yeah, blue farm collar work, jobs yeah. and stuff. I think yeah, that, yeah. but with me and Mouth. Mouth is a, a handy person with some level of um, you know what the hell happened self sustaining to... skills and me with no real life skills whatsoever, <laughs> but a very sarcastic <laughs> attitude. I think. What the hell happened to Paris Hilton and uh, Nicole Richie? Like they were on on everything like in the early two thousands, and then they just completely dropped off. Well, like, Paris, you never hear uh, like social media fricked her up. Or well, something. I think uh, it's one of those one of the many didn't she go to jail for a bit too? Of the uh, of the two thousand eight global financial crisis. Is oh. When when shit got serious, people were like, "We can't be fucking around with this Paris." They Hilton ran out of capital longer. for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't do any more simple life. They ran out of ran out of investment, and that was. I it. mean, she's probably got like getting uh, royalties and dividends. Like she's got like perfumes and things like that, right? She yeah, and I think like, like her dad is pretty rich. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think the Hilton Empire is what it used. To is what it well, used to be. You know? they sh maybe they'll start up some Airbnbs. They Old should. They should. Ain't what it used to be. Oh. Couldn't, I, could, I couldn't make the grade. It is hard. Life the grade. is hard up here, man. <clears throat> Wall Guys is all about the dive. Yeah. Ooh, not bad. Oof, oof, oof. Oh. Oh, that's too high up. Oh, Can't no, you gotta go one. on, like, the first one. I think you need the fan for this one. Yeah, that's true. She also owns a board ape, so she's chilling. Oh. I forgot about that. I can't believe I had some sympathy for it. Now I know she's she's loaded, man. I made it. I'm in. <clears throat> Dude, I was, uh... So I've been like playing the drums a little bit more, and I was like, uh, "Backcountry is like a really fun song to practice." You've been doing Whiplash? Uh, no, I should though. Um, okay. But uh, I went to their their YouTube because I was like, I wonder what Avenged Sevenfold is up to, and like their most recent video is just them talking about how they wanted to like really enhance the community more and like do stuff to allow the community to like blah 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 and it was basically i was like oh no this is NFT here it comes stuff. yeah yeah and that's uh but then they were like we that's why we'd like to announce that we're not allowing vaccinated concert goers to come to our next tour and you were like oh <laughs> phew, finally <laughs> oh i thought they were gonna sell nfts i was gonna have to uh, burn all my avenge sevenfold cds in a pile with all my three stooges merch and uh <laughs> Whoa, hilton holdings are worth 37 billion dollars jesus that's not why y that yada much, honestly it's not even that much chump change i'm spe Same i'm deal. spending that on my new 4090 alone like a yeah Dude, Amazon lost like a trillion dollars in value in a day, and then it was back not in a, it, They did not lose it in a day. No, they lo they it lost day. it over the course of 2022 so far. They did not lose. But then it they in gained a day. back. They in the Why? same. How, how have they lost so much money? Because they were worth oh. like two point something trillion or like one point eight trillion. And People aren't this, ordering knickknacks on the internet as listen, much anymore. Listen, listen, motherfuckers. Okay, <laughs> the, those valuations <laughs> come from a, a zero, a near zero interest rate environment. Now the interest rates are normalizing a little bit, and it's uh, the, the there's multiple compression. You you don't want to get uh. into it, okay? I think it's. I knew. I knew it was never gonna work. I said <laughs> early on. This will never work. And now, after 20 years of trading, I'm right. By, buying I shit knew, online. I told you, it's never gonna, it's never gonna become a thing. Nobody uh, wants to be online. I know it's like a very, like it's not a funny tweet, but it is an interesting observation that, like, it's when we were younger, it seemed like science fiction that you could buy something online. Now, going to a store seems like the stupidest fucking idea of all time. Like, when I had to buy a barbecue cover, 
I just went to Canadian Tire and they had that shit on yeah. the shelf. Like they, they got a big ass building. There were 900,000 things in the store I did not want that were on the shelves. And then there was like, I was like, whoa, my, my barbecue cover. Hello. Like, wh how did they know that I'm going to the store to buy the barbecue cover to have it on the shelf? That's crazy. Uh, plus twoing, plus twoing. Sorry. I'm not, maybe you guys I'm could. Not uh, any, maybe you guys I'm, could plus two into the into the. Background. I'm trying. That's why I, you can't. Uh, uh, these guys you. are too. We can't do this. Golden ball. This is, he, he's got the golden ball. He's trying to score a golden ball on our own net. Oh, it's our random. So our random is just literally stupid. No offense. Oh, uh oh, I missed. Oh no. There he goes. Yeah, he just scored. Uh, I had it. Okay, we're out. Did he score uh, a golden ball against us? Yes. Come on. Yes, he did. Not like this. You want to do one more? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I'm down. It hurt pretty bad, though. I got to say, that one hurt pretty bad. I'm down to clown. <clears throat> it's kind of sick being at the, the Christmas market last night. Cause like you'd like wait in line for like a free sample. They had like a. Did a, they have any Ho Oh Holy Night playing in the background? They were playing anything? a lot of a lot of songs. Oh Holy Night. I didn't was expect it, it like to a, be that like busy. a buble version or anything. No, they had like some like j jazz singer inside of a big uh, Christmas tree playing Christmas oh. carols. I honestly, because yesterday was November. 13th I didn't think that the uh, the Christmas market would be that busy but there were probably 250,000 people there <laughs> and every single one of them wanted to stand in every major thoroughfare and get perfect Instagram photos taken with like mugs of mulled wine and stuff like that don't even Did you see they're... anybody smoking crack there isn't there like a big problem in Vancouver um, with nobody was sm you need a ticket crack. to get into the Christmas market so there was zero uh -oh. crack detected but yes on the way there I did see some <laughs> some crack being smoked yes <laughs> Good, good. You gotta good. drive getting through, into the, getting like into the, the Christmas pretty, spirit early. I area. see. <laughs> Sometimes the navigation system is like, uh, you know, turn left on East Hastings, and I'm like, oh fuck. Good and song. These, it, I, if I, I always play the song when I'm going through there. Favorite black, black, uh, good God's being black. <laughs> <country song. laughs> it's, you know, I'm. It's not my favorite. It's, it's up there. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Rocket falls on Rocket falls. Rockets fall on rockets. Is this motherfucker good. okay? <laughs> Big old Morgan Rocket. Stern. Uh, <laughs> are, you talk, are you talking about Rockabye? That one. Everything. Everything. Sean Mullins. is gonna be alright. Great song. Rockabye. Rockabye. Well, like sex and can't stay. Yeah. Who lounging in my chair? You guys know this is two <laughs> different artists, right? Yeah. Okay, I was just uh, Mama, that surely is a dream. Yeah. What about that one uh, in my hands? Yeah. It's in no uh, leave life. In my hands. hands. In my hands. That's uh. That's a great song. The video for that. That's fuel. A that's bit. a good one. Fuel. Yeah. They, they did that one. Uh, way go my airplane. Way go my feel like a newborn. You know that one? No. You don't know. No, that's actually. like their biggest song. I only know in my hand. Oh shit! No, I, got <laughs> <laughs> I just got rocked. <laughs> oh, dude. So I'm uh, one of the oh, episodes wait, of uh, yeah, that's filter, Sopranos. I was watching last night. There's like this troubled kid who's getting like kind of bullied in the the showers, and like his response to the bullies, he just literally just drops oh, like a turd in the shower, and I just immediately thought of six. Yeah, no, that's a that's a big alpha move. That's a defense yeah. mechanism, yeah. That's how I that's how I roll big time. <laughs> they all cross left. Me, it worked. It cross worked. me, it's dookie time. It comes. <laughs> oh, anyways. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> wish I could just drop a turd on command. <laughs> No, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> There's one, uh, one small turd for man. One, well, one one Salmonella Campylobacter infection. Oh, I've never no. been the same. Sometimes it's the turd that commands me now. Mm. It's like, hey, uh, go home. Well, I mean, I don't eat meat, so I don't have to worry about it from that. And I don't have a cat, so I don't have to worry about cat poop either. 
Uh, oh, I thought you were saying because you don't eat meat, you don't poop. And I was like, this guy. <laughs> no, I mean, the salmon. He's, it's a life hack. He saves so much time by not having to sit on the can. <clears throat> it is true. I was looking at my my weekly report of my screen time. Yeah. And it's like... Is that tied in directly to your pooping time? Well, like pretty... Because I, I only really look at my phone, like, uh, while pooping or... Yeah. Um, before bed maybe for like half an hour and then if i'm taking the baby out for a walk then it'll be like an hour and a half but like when <laughs> I was, on, <laughs> yeah no i i, I get that. no when she's in the stroller not when i'm like holding yeah, her yeah, hand yeah. and then in the other hand i've got my phone no but, i can't play with you right now sorry i what do you think i am every other things are going crazy on twitter right now. So like every other yeah, yeah. At the playground is on their phone all yeah. the time what the hell are they doing? What they, like, every parent is FaceTiming nonstop about shit that nobody cares about. And then, yeah. do you think I should bring, like, a wine or something? What kind of wine? It's a Tuesday! It's <laughs> it's 10 a.m. Can you, this is, you could just handle this over text. And then, like, I, I was kind of losing it. I mean, as a parent, the people in line behind us at the Christmas market last night, they were going off on their parents, but like over the pettiest shit of all time. They were like, my dad is the kind of a person that always has to have like an opinion on something. And I'm like, oh, mm. so fucking like every human? human being on planet Earth has like ever existed. And he I was like, opinions. like last night he was like, I was talking to him about Taylor Swift and he was like, yeah, I don't really get the whole singer songwriter thing. I'm like, well, um, I'm sorry to tell you this. Uh, he's like supported you for like your whole life, so maybe you could cut him a fucking break because he doesn't understand Taylor Swift in in 2022. Like, why don't you just sorry, sorry that he, you know, it changed fucking five thousand diapers, and now you're annoyed because he does. He's just trying to make conversation about something that you're interested in, and he couldn't care less about. He's just trying yeah, to well, find some common ground. Did you stop them and actually say this stuff to them? No, I was just like, you know, you reap what you sow. Yeah. You were having an argument with them in your mind. And owning them. Not, well, I, there was no argument. I was owning them, though. <laughs> you just, like, just <laughs> laying down the, the pure ownage. It's like, I think it's because, like, we're doing all this work with the baby. And I'm like, yeah, but it's, like, good because, like... You know, when she's a teenager, she'll probably, like, resent us a little bit. And then when she's a young adult, she'll, like, come around. And then when she's, like, you know, in her 30s, she'll respect us a lot and, and appreciate our sacrifice. This lady behind us was, like, in her mid-30s. And she was like, my dad doesn't like Taylor Swift and it pisses me off. And I'm like, you, you show some respect. I, I, I mean, I think, I don't know. Maybe I, I wouldn't get pissed off if somebody didn't like my favorite band necessarily. But Aww. I would be pissed off if my kids grew up and they're like oh my favorite band is kid rock and my favorite yeah. song is we were smoking different things <laughs> yeah, and we were trying different worthy. things then i would say like you know what i take it i want all my time back i want all those diaper changes back yeah absolutely i've raised a monster i what what's happened what what happened to you along the way i would just like to say thank you to the daniel uh raiders who are spamming vigo in chat right now you must, they must have known, Malf, you were talking about Vigo Morganston. They, they get it. Morganston. Is Vigo Morganston the, the bad guy from Ghostbusters 2? Uh, yes. I'm going to say yes. yes. All right. No, Vigo, yeah, he's the, the painting. painting. Yeah. yeah. The guy in the painting. That's yeah. him, right? He actually, like, one of the scariest villains of all time. Vigo. He kind of freaked Same me guy? out when I was a kid, for sure. He gets, like, these weird, like, teddy bear ears at one point, too, when he kind of, like... He gets just... angry, too, right? Yeah. With he... the kid. The yeah. baby, you're like, oh, this guy's not too bad. Yeah, he's that is be nice to the baby, and then he looks like he's gonna eat the baby, and oh, you're like, holy yes. shit, dude, you unlock like a deep memory inside of me. He does get mad at that baby, and that's where that's yeah, the he turn. has that flash of anger. Which, let's face it, as parents, we've all felt like <laughs> yeah, that towards that's... a baby at some point, but not like, uh, you know, he he took it to the extreme. Nowadays, that, that I would, would be like, that's when he would become sympathetic. The baby would cry if they saw that face on you, right? Like, oh, absolutely. You turned around. You're like, I lost that snap game because of you. <laughs> Big angle. You made face. me forget that I played Jessica Jones on Mojo World last <laughs> round. <laughs> uh, no dinner for you. It's an infant, infant child <laughs> with needs. Oh, man. 
dietary and requirements and such. So true. They do need food. We're in. Live. We're in. Oh, we're, we're very in. We're easily in. in. We're in. I've been crushing these noobs over here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Um, meanwhile, I'm up here crushing your mom's ass. Wow! Well, no, she's 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 here. She's, she's here. She's here. ready. <laughs> she's ready to party. <laughs> Is she old enough? <laughs> she's old enough to party. <laughs> oh man! Good one. Very good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's, he's fucking your mom right now. <laughs> I did it in my... Gosh. I just gotta turn my, my stream off. Um, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, maybe we can win this one, too. Uh, actually, it's basketball. We've yeah, this a... is our probably our worst one. We don't have I mean, I, I actually... For all the memes, I've been doing... These, I've been playing at like a replacement oh. level. It's just if we could not have our fourth person stealing golden balls and dunking them in our own net. That would help. <laughs> I watched Ghostbusters Afterlife again on uh, Halloween. My son is, wanted to watch it like it uh, good? on Halloween night. But you know what? It's nah, it's not really. Uh, mm. What's his Paul? Is it Paul Rudd? Paul Rudd. Paul yeah. Rudd is in it. I love Paul Rudd. Yeah, he's pretty good in it actually, but. The movie itself is just like, I don't know. I don't know what to think. My son likes it, so like, you know. I'm just like, at this point, haven't they busted all the ghosts? Like, well, you, you'd think that there wouldn't be like that many left, but. I guess out, they keep making more. Gozer just keeps coming back. Like, okay. Really? They, they brought back Gozer just, again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the 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 beasts like the the gatekeeper and the keymaster. Yeah, yeah. There's like a lot of old callbacks to the uh, the original in it. Well, that's good because uh, I like, really thought like what Ghostbusters could use is like a retread of the original stories. Um, yeah, but with for like, the a new for cast. the modern. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what they do because they can get Shit. away with it. They got a golden one in. Did they? Yeah. Oh, when it rains, you get a non-golden one in. You fucking poor. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I missed that. Why is I'm our trying, is I'm our blue to... guy is scoring on our own net? What is wrong with you? I can't. I how much don't time know. is left? Oh, there's still 20 seconds. Never mind. Like, I how... missed again. <laughs> no, no. I, I think it's like. I've, I've been alone over here just trying to dunk this one ball. Here, alley oop it. Oh, it's you easier if you jump get on right the fan. Into it. Yeah, I know. I've been on the fan. Oh well. I helped. Mm. Oh shit! It wasn't enough. I, I think I people think, think we're all blue, those goals. so they score on the blue net. Yeah, I think that's no, just I, jump I, I in the net. Right. I, I realized right. that now. I didn't think you could do that. I didn't think it would be that easy. You know. Well, that's a, that's a heavy loss, unfortunately. Yeah. Rip. Well, well I mean, we did I get mean, a back-to-back. We back did win back a whole whole bunch of games, games, though, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, we won complain. four games. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, geez. Um, thanks so much for the gaming. Always a pleasure. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Yes, you will.